Welcome to The Restaurant Show. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah, and we have a fantastic show for you today. Tuscany Grill is joining us making a special twist on mac and cheese. We've also got Granite City making some outstanding nachos, and a fabulous winery joins us. It's Lewis Station. It's all on your guide to the best restaurants in town, so you can skip the rest and enjoy the best. We're going to tell you where to go coming up on The Restaurant Show. This episode of The Restaurant Show brought to you by AccuCline Mechanical Services. Welcome back to the restaurant show. We're talking about one of my faves, of course. Tuscany Grill is joining us, and we have Chef Peter who is here. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Glad to see you. I'm very excited about this dish mm -hmm. that you're going to do for us. First of all, you've got to introduce us to your daughter, Avalon. Avalon here is my helper. She's the stirrer <laughs> of the pan today, so she's yes. going to help me stir the pan. <laughs> Sounds good. So you're off from school right now. It's yep. summertime, and mm -hmm. you're helping Dad. Yeah. I love it. Well, we're excited to get going. Okay, so today we're going to do a crab mac and cheese, which sounds amazing. So you just made this up? Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> That's I what you I do. make up dishes when we put them in the restaurant. That's, I love it. That's my job. That's a lovely <laughs> job. I love it. Well, you yeah. do a fabulous job. I'm a huge fan of your restaurant oh, and your food. So talk to us about crab mac and cheese. How uh, do we put this together? Crab mac and cheese is something we're going to put on the menu now for the summertime. It's Everybody says they want mac and cheese, and everybody says lobster mac and cheese. I say, I'm not going to make a lobster. I'm going to make a crab. So okay. I decided to make a crab mac and cheese. Why? So What's, why do you like the crab versus I like the, the crab better than lobster. I don't know. It's a personal... Yeah. For me, it's personal. I like crab better than lobster. I don't know why. Well, it's everything just... you guys do over there, you do amazingly. So I can't wait to find out what you yeah. do with this. It's going to be good. But first, we're going to do this here. I can start. Yeah, go for it. We got lots of you ingredients. You got to be a little I careful see. here. You got to back up a little here, Avalon, because this is going to be hot. We've got everything already sort of measured out for us, for you. But it's wonderful. You've got all these ingredients. We can see what's yeah. all going in. I see a few different cheeses. This is first. Is, first is the garlic. Then we're gonna get and brown it in here a little. Okay. Get the flavor out. So you start with the garlic, get yes. that kind of moving. Garlic heat moving. It up. And then okay. only pepper, no salt. Because really? we're gonna have enough salt and the crab and everything else that I goes see. in there. Okay, so we don't wanna over no. salt. Good. But then of course we do the wine. I just have a little bit of cooking with wine, it's great, right? Yes. Ooh, and that brings a fun sizzle. Always. Mm. Avalon has to back up a few <laughs> inches, but it's part of the excitement. Exactly. And what that's else? it. They just need to deglaze the pan with that. Okay. Wine. Then we add cream. Perfect. Ooh. Now, is that just a regular? A heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. Okay. So we'll turn off the pan a little. Turning it down so that we don't get quite so much sizzle? No, I have to turn it up so we can reduce it down faster because oh. we're going to add other stuff to it too. Here. That's what you're doing, okay. Yes. More heat. More heat, yes. It's counterintuitive for me, okay. <laughs> Keep going, what else is in here? Uh, we're going to do this, we're going to first let this heat okay, up for we'll a while, let it reduce down, so then we're going to add our sort of cheeses and let's stuff. Let's talk a little bit while we're waiting for that about some specials in the restaurant because you guys do, first of all, the menu over there is absolutely outstanding, I love it, but you do some daily specials. What yes, we're doing? actually going to start something now when the summer comes, we're going to do a summer menu. Before we had a special, we had a meal, a poultry, a fish every day special. But now we're going to do a special. Every day is going to be like Monday is going to be Spanish Monday, Tuesday is going to be Italian Tuesday, Wednesday we're going to do meatloaf, different meatloafs. We're going to do a lot of lamb meatloaf, like Ooh, a lamb and, meatloaf. Yeah, and chicken, pork, different kinds of meatloafs. Sure. And on Thursday we're actually going to do barbecue. Thursdays, but we're going to do barbecue from. A little like all around the world, different barbecues from different oh, wow. countries and do that. Wonderful. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, we go to Fridays, fish fry, and Saturdays, prime rib. I love that Continue you stick with that. the classic Friday fish fry. You know, oh, we yeah. are in Wisconsin and you can't forget that Friday fish that's, fry. That's why this crab mac and cheese also have uh, some sharp cheddar in it because we're in Wisconsin. He knows where he's cooking, right? <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Sounds great. And now, is that part of the new summer menu? Yes. Okay. It's part. Wonderful. So fabulous spot to go yep. eat. Absolutely delicious food. And um, let's talk a little bit of other changes going on in the restaurant. Yeah, we're remodeling the up. whole restaurant. It's going to be remodeled. Different color scheme and different seat arrangements and all the kind. Of, I think we have to talk about moving the bar around. Okay. But I don't know what's going to happen with that. But It's already gorgeous over there. I love yeah. sitting in that bar area. It's very beautiful and comfortable. And um, if you guys are improving, I can't wait to see what yep. that looks like. That's really exciting. 
Now, coming up in the fall, too, you guys are doing some new things. Yes. Don't let me stop you from no, cooking. No, no. And in the fall, we're actually going to do a new menu again that's going to be more different again. But we're going to try yeah. to change the menu three times a year. That's what I love about you guys. You guys are always adapting and changing and evolving yep. and making new dishes for us yep. to come try. So yep. some of your old favorites, you know, yep. often get adapt and change yep. and you find some new favorites. It's lots of fun. Yeah. And now we're going to finish this one. Mozzarella so, cheese. Here goes some more cheese, like we were saying. A lot of cheese. <laughs> now mozzarella. We'll the what are in. the three cheeses? You've got cheddar. Mozzarella, okay. parmesan, and cheddar. Okay. All good. Now we add the crab meat, too. Okay. Now, is sure. that, there is a certain timing on that, I would imagine. Yes. I mean, it's, it's lump crab meat that comes already mm -hmm. cooked. But okay. So it's you don't want to overdo it. No. Exactly. you got to wait towards the end. Parmesan there. Okay. cheese, a little parsley, and of course, Wisconsin, we need to do the cheddar cheese. That's right. Don't forget it. No. <laughs> don't and skimp no. and don't forget it. Turn Very up important little, rules. Stir that. Excuse me. Okay, oh. see here. Evelyn, you're going to be hired at Tuscany. Are you ready <laughs> for your summer job? Yeah. <laughs> not, maybe not quite. <laughs> no. Not quite yet. And then we're also going to do this. We have a little special spice mix we're going to put in here. And some sriracha sauce. Okay. People are going to say I like that's how you clue us spicy. into some things and some. Well, yeah, yeah. Can't, can't yeah, tell you. Yeah, can't give away all the seat. No, don't do that. <laughs> and Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Yeah. Nobody can <laughs> pronounce that. <No>. So <laughs> that's okay. A little of that in there, too. That's a mystery. And now. It smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this. This is. Good job, Stir. Thank you. Now Perfect. everything has the same color here. We put that aside. Mm -hmm. And we got the pasta over here in hot water. Ready Evelyn, to go. you probably don't even know. You probably take it for granted. You've grown up with a chef in your home. <laughs> it's probably yeah. just wonderful, though. Yeah. You just get used to Dad's cooking and fabulous dishes for you. And now we do the flip flip. And look at that flipping genius. And then it goes in the pan. That looks, oh my God, it smells so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So this is a little bit of a twist. You've got a crab. Mac and cheese, Crab mac and, and cheese. it's different looking. That looks so great. Oh my Good. gosh, I couldn't cook this up myself at home. We do this. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Breadcrumbs. On oh, on top. A little crunch. Oh. And some bacon. If you weren't hungry before, you are hungry now. I can pretty much guarantee it. You can find uh, Tuscany Grill at the Wyndham Garden Hotel. They're here in Fitchburg. Great place to stay. Fabulous place to eat. You absolutely don't need to be staying at the hotel to eat there. I go have dinner frequently. It's a lovely spot. And thank you. Thank you. Chef I Peter. actually can show you the finished dish here, too. If oh, good. Quickly. We even have a finale. Yes. Oh, look at you. So I this love is it. the finished dish. Through the magic of TV. Yes. Oh, it looks amazing baked. That's just beautiful. Avalon, thank you for coming. We have loved having you. Tuscany Grill in Fitchburg. Go see them. We'll be back with more restaurant show after the break. After the break, we're cooking with Granite City's best beer. That's next. Hey folks, welcome back to the restaurant show. We have a treat for you today. We are joined by Matt Betshart, who joins us from Granite City, and we're so glad to see you. Always a pleasure to be here, thank so, you. So, Granite City, a fabulous restaurant over in the West Town Mall. Not only lots of fantastic food, but a lovely brewery, and we've got a little sampling for the folks at home today. That's right. We're going to um, talk about our uh, wonderful Batch 1000 barbecue pork nachos, and as well, we'll uh, talk about our uh, new uh, Cellar Collection small batch series that we're rolling out here this month as well. Looking forward to all of the above. So, yeah. okay, the Batch 1000 barbecue pork nachos. That's a tongue twister. We've got a few <laughs> of those today. <laughs> but that's okay. So the this is actually made with some of the beer that you guys brew right there That's in right. City. So the Batch 1000 is our double IPA. Yes. And um, as you could imagine, that double IPA has almost double the hops, so it's a really hoppy beer. Yes. And uh, what we do is braise that uh, pork shoulder in the beer for oh, about six to eight hours until it's just wow. fall, apart, fall apart fork tender. Um, and then we toss it with our um, signature barbecue sauce. Oh my gosh. So. I can't imagine this case. So we've got. Eight, six to eight hours of basically marinating. Yeah, marinating and roasting, yep. Slow wow. cooking. 
Oh, delicious. Yeah. And then, so this isn't a, um, you know, you don't just roll out of bed and pop one of these on the table. You guys have pre-planned this dish <laughs> for, your, right. for your guests, and that's wonderful. Yeah. And then you make you're you're making your sriracha queso right now. So That's tell right. me what this what you got. Well, going. so we're going to just start out with a real basic uh, white cheese sauce, um, uh, white queso sauce, which is real simple. It's going to be like a white American cheese. We're going to add a little bit of uh, milk to it just okay. to thin it out a touch, uh, melt it down, and then we're going to take it up another notch here, and we're going to add this pepper. Another relish. nacho. Another just nacho. Just kidding. That's right. Can't help myself. <laughs> And we're going to add um, this pepper relish, which we make in-house. Um, okay. It uh, is some Ooh. roasted red peppers, jalapenos, um, onions that have all been sautéed. And then we uh, finish it off with the uh, classic sriracha hot sauce. All right. Um, so so that it's got a little an, kick to it. That's right. And it has a nice uh, amount of garlic as well in it. So okay. it kind of has a real, real nice flavor oh here. Oh, my gosh. So as soon as we get this uh, cheese melted up, okay. we're going to add so this we'll, pepper relish here. And that'll go in there. So this is... You guys, in fact, with often with your dishes, cook with different beers that you make. That's so right. I like that about you guys because not only are you brewing these great beers for folks to have, but you're also utilizing them in their dishes. So obvious pairings, right? You make it easy yeah, for us. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So it's a nice way to uh, enjoy the beer not only with the food that you're eating, but as well to have it um, uh, in addition to kind of wash the food down. Kind of bring right. out some of those yeah. extra flavors. I That's like the right. idea very, very so, much. We've got our sriracha queso here, just okay. about finished and you can see it's got a nice red mm -hmm. color to it and uh, you can see all those nice uh, peppers and onions in yes. there as well. See cheese can be healthy. I, there's lots of vegetables in there. <laughs> right. All right. 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 Good. right. Good. So good, we're going to go ahead and start um, building these nachos okay. and you can see I've got about half the chips that we're going to make out of these nachos right. started so start on there. the plate and then we're going to drizzle this wonderful sriracha queso sauce mm -hmm. all over and make sure we get a little bit this on awesome. each one of these chips here of course. That's right. Equal representation <laughs> for the cheese on each chip. He, Matt knows how it's done. That's right. We wouldn't want to leave any chip out. No. Um, so we've got our um, sriracha queso. No chip queso. left behind. It's a new policy. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then we're going to just kind of mound mm -hmm. another layer of chips right on top there. And this is definitely a plate for more than one What's, or two or well, three we'll or see, four. Right. <laughs> right. And so we're going to add now some more of this uh, wonderful sriracha yeah. queso. This smells amazing too, this cheese. Yum, yum, yum. And, um, You're speaking my language here. Yeah. Crunchy, cheesy, it's all amazing. There you go. So, and I want to ask you too, because I want to talk a little bit more about the beer, because you have another kind here that I want to get to when you're done building nachos. Yeah. But what, so you do um, cellar collection, which yeah. is smaller batch series. What does it's, that mean? It is. It's our um, small batch series. So we're just building these beers um, in about 50 gallons versus maybe 400 gallons that we mm -hmm. would normally brew. Yeah, no um, big deal, just 50 gallons. And it gives us a yeah. great opportunity to um, really get a, a really unique style of beer. So okay. the one that I brought with me here today that we'll, uh, we'll talk about a little more mm -hmm. is the uh, Black IPA. Okay. Um, in the meantime here, I'm going to continue on with this wonderful yes, uh, yes, barbecued yes. pork um, that has been braised in now, yeah. batch 1000 double IPA. And you can see that. So Matt, just we've been doing this for eight hours. He started early. And <laughs> That's right. Yep, I woke up before the sun <laughs> came up for sure. Love it, love it, love it. Um, oh so my gosh. Got that. Okay. And um, then if the queso wasn't enough, we're going to add some of this nice No, uh, it's never enough. You always Colby add more. Colby Jack cheese right on top of that as You dropped well. one piece of cheese on the floor, Matt, earlier, <laughs> and you know, that's a crime in Wisconsin. That's, that's right. So. We would have to waste the cheese. <laughs> that's right. Um, and so then from there, we're going to take... Look at this. Um, and add uh, this mm -hmm. wonderful black bean uh, corn oh, Good, salsa. get a little extra flavors in there. And now That's we right. can officially count it as a vegetable serving. That's right. Yes. So now we've got a little That's bit okay. of uh, protein mm -hmm. and uh, as well as the vegetables. And if that's not enough, uh, we're going to add our Santa Fe cream sauce to it. Ooh, I don't know what and that so, is, but it sounds delicious and yeah. it looks pretty. Yep, there we go. And uh, we have some fresh guacamole that we make okay. every day here fresh. And we're going to take a nice dollop of that. Ah, oh, that looks so good. Right on top. Oh my God. Gosh, who wouldn't want to order this and have a nice cold <laughs> beer? I do. And if that's not enough, we just have to finish it with uh, a little fresh uh, chopped. All right, you did that in a gif. Snap. Good job. So, boom. That's how it goes there. Matt's doing a throwback to his chef days. Here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and so, you know, again, with this. Um, 
wonderful plate of okay. nachos, we are going to take um, our batch 1000. Um, I just want to mention while you're doing a pour too, because I didn't know this until we talked about it today before you started, that you guys do all this great catering. That's right. And so we'll talk about that maybe a little bit more in depth another time. But these guys, I mean, literally have a spread of items that they cater desserts. You said a, like a nacho bar. That's or right. A taco we could bar. set up a theme buffet for you at your house. We could go uh, down the Mexican uh, nacho style road, or we could even do an Italian buffet. We also have uh, bundles to go where we'll take salads and soups and sandwiches, half sandwiches, pair it all together. Um, we can even do a lunchbox with just a cookie, chips, and a sandwich. Wow, breakfast um, and brunch. That's and right. And if you really wanted to have a nice party, you could have a keg of uh, one of our beers to, to go with all that. So that's pretty interesting as Salt. well. Salt. Done. Yeah. And then again, that uh, small batch series here. This is that black IPA, which okay. is the... Um, oh, look at that color. That is a rich color. That's right. beautiful. So it has that maltiness um, uh, and roasted maltiness that you would get from a standard uh, darker beer, but Fabulous. also that hoppy kick. So it's kind of the best of both worlds there. we got to go. So I'm going to eat these chips, and we're going to go to break. Matt Betchart right. with Granite City. Thank you so much for joining us. They're over in the West Town Mall. Fabulous food, fabulous beer. Go see them. We'll be right back after the break. Stick around, because after the break, we've got Lewis Station Winery and their chef. We'll be right back. We're back with Lewis Station Winery here on the Restaurant Show. And Jason, as you talked a little bit about uh, before the show started, up until now, it's been just games. This is serious <laughs> now. Now we're in the serious stuff. Now we're in the we're realm going of serious. bacon. We're yeah. going bacon. Bacon, spinach, salad, and your Jonesin for bacon plate. Yes. Okay, so start talking, Jason. What's <laughs> well, going on what. here? We have the bacon plates kind of working in the oven right now, so we'll start off with the spinach salad. All right, that's that's cool. Spinach salad, we have a house uh, uh, olive oil that we sell, a, a bacon-infused olive oil. That is kind of the feature of this salad. Okay. Again, hyper-locally sourced spinach. Uh -huh. uh, bacon, the bacon itself comes from Jones Farm down in Fort Atkinson. Okay. The mushrooms in this dish come from... Uh, Helenville, palm mushrooms in Helenville, okay. which is about 10 miles away from the from the winery. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and again, all of our salads are tossed nice and fresh. And this wow. one here has got just a lot going on. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> and now you know where the name comes from, Jones and for Bacon. It comes from Jones oh, Dairy Farm. Oh, yeah. you had to explain that to me. <laughs> well, that's when we get to the... Sorry, I'm a TV host. I don't understand those things <laughs> the, very quickly. The bacon plate features bones, uh, uh, back, ba basically back ribs that have been treated the same as bacon, so they've been cured and smoked. Oh, okay. Just like bacon. Okay. And, uh, they are decadent to say oh, the least. right. Excellent. So that's a nice fresh spinach salad. Excellent. And then on the Jones... Anybody got a fork? We don't have a fork. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> And then the Jones over bacon salad, because we have three different kinds of bacon on the plate, I do try to throw a little bit of lettuce and fresh vegetable in here. Just, <laughs> so they can be more guilt-free. Well, <laughs> think of it as a deconstructed BLT. There's a little tomato in here, a little lettuce in here. Okay. And then the fresh mozzarella is kind of the, the, the mayonnaise, the yeah. mayonnaise or the creamy part. Okay. So we start with a base like that. Okay. And then I feature three different bacons, and it kind of changes from week to week, but the mm -hmm. one thing that's always on here is our bacon bones. All and right. Mm -hmm. These are the bacon bones. Oh my goodness. And what I've done here on the bacon bones is they're back ribs that have been cured and smoked like bacon. And I've taken and I do a sweet pickled jalapeno mm -hmm. and gooseberry glaze over the top of them. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these guys like this. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. And I'm then just totally this speechless. next bacon here is Fent Brothers in Watertown. This is their house bacon, which is a hickory cure, hickory mm -hmm. smoked. Mm -hmm. These guys have been making bacon since 1919, and it tastes wonderful. Wow. And then the last one here is actually a chicken bacon, also done by Jones Farm. This is an uncured chicken bacon. Chicken so what bacon. you're looking at is a spread of three different bacons, okay. like that. <coughs> and then I take my sauces, and again, the gooseberry hot. Uh, sweet pickled jalapeno glaze. We hit the ribs with that one more time. Okay. I get a little, little squirt on the rest of it like that. And then this is maple syrup and, of course, mustard. So really? think, of it, think of it as like a <laughs> honey mustard, but more with maple syrup. Okay, a honey mustard with maple syrup. Okay. So 
Um, while he's uh, pouring the last touches on there, Rob, what kind of yeah. what kind of wine are we drinking here? All this right. is the let me ask, Sangiovese. Oh, said beautifully. Did I say that right? It's like, right. A, like a true Italian. All right. Sangiovese. All right. Yeah. So this is this is a Sangiovese. Now it is an Italian varietal, although I work with a again a, a grape grower in uh, Northern California uh -huh. that has a has the terroir very similar to Italian, uh, to to Italy, yeah. and uh, specifically Chianti, because that's that's kind of the base grape for Chianti. Sure. So most people have heard of a Chianti, maybe you've never heard of a Sangiovese. Sure. Um, but that's kind of what that wine is. Mm -hmm. And so this Sangiovese, this is kind of more like a super Tuscan. So I ate just with uh, 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 French uh, oak, and then I actually added a little uh, American toasted oak. So if you smell Ooh. it, you'll get a little of that toastiness on the nose. So that yeah. comes from American oak. Yeah. American oak is a little more aggressive on the nose. Sure. Whereas French oak, what that does, that kind of gives it that creamy palate sensation. Who would have thought that there's different different flavors and different you know smells from different oaks from, from different, different oaks? Oh, yeah. Different oak, and, and Hungarian oak does a different thing. There are different levels of toast. There's mm. so it all depends on what the winemaker wants to finish that oh, product that's with. Beautiful. So it may start as a certain style of wine. Yeah. But the winemaker has a lot of influence based on what type of oak mm. adjuncts and things that you would add to it. Yeah. And so the <laughs> idea with this is because it's big, bold, and tannic. So yeah. your mouth probably dried out a little bit because of because of that oak. Well, what you need to make that work uh -huh. for food and wine pairing is you need is fat, <laughs> right? You need this. And All if right. you didn't know this, bacon has just a hint of fat in it. <laughs> no <head>. way. <laughs> so That's that bacon the, actually don't, pairs I don't want to hear this. <laughs> pairs beautifully with the sandwich. you'll see. A sip of the wine after that, and you'll see exactly what he's talking about. Mm. Well, let me just enjoy this <laughs> for a second. Give me, don't push me here. Mm. It is oh delicious, isn't it? Right, it's delicious. No, just a sip of that after. Yeah, take a, a sip of that after. You'll see how that acid that. just comes on. Wow. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I'm I'm crying a little bit if you can't see <laughs> out there because it's just so delicious. This is amazing. Can I try another one of the bacons absolutely. as well? Yeah, absolutely. So this is kind of the the fun stuff that Jason and I do as mm -hmm. we're as we're uh, as he's working on preparing the meals and mm -hmm. looking at the menu and coming up with some of that creative things that he does. I mean, on Wednesdays he specifically goes to the farmers market and mm -hmm. pulls all fresh ingredients, <clears throat> brings it back to the winery, and this is kind of the stuff that he, he prepares. And I think that's what's so great about you guys is that yeah. you're really pulling like hyper hyper local ingredients. I mean, it's all within how how many miles would you say is like the furthest? Our ahead? our entire menu, with the exception of the Kalamata olives that we use, is within 100 miles of our winery. Wow, yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. Can you give me a fork? <laughs> <laughs> I want to try this salad. Yeah. I got to try the salad. Yeah. So Those bones are something else, aren't they? This is this is amazing. This is I mean, and what was it's gooseberry and uh, pickled, jala jala pickled jalapenos pickled and jala gooseberry that are pureed together. Wow, mm -hmm. that's really great. Now, for those of you who want to go out and try some of this stuff, you never know what you're going to get on Wednesday nights at Lewis Station that's Winery. Right. Wine and Tapas is their uh, their thing that they do every Wednesday, and it's always something different because it depends on the ingredients that you can find, right, exactly. Jason? Well, it depends on what looks the best. Jason, yep. can you grab that fork you for me, it. please, real quick? <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm going to try this salad real quick here. And this is the um, bacon spinach salad. And, and all the plates, like you can see, I mean... These are meant to be shared. Mm -hmm, These are right. meant to be shared. Mm -hmm. So you come in, you mm -hmm. get a bacon plate, you get another thing, you have a wonderful meal for two to three mm -hmm. people. Yeah, and like, like you said, a meal for two to three people. Now, if you were to do the economics on this, you might be looking at 35 or $40 right. for all the food, mm -hmm. a nice bottle of wine, Four of you can sit and enjoy something as delicious as this. That's an incredible deal. Thanks yeah. for coming in. You sure you, you don't want it. to come in tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> this has been Rob and Jason from Lewis Station Winery. Thanks so much for coming in. Don't go away. There's more restaurant show coming up after this. Stick around. Thanks so much for joining us for all these great local restaurants. I had tons of fun checking them out. Hope you did too. I'm Jessa Jeremiah reminding you that life is too short to eat average. This episode of The Restaurant Show brought to you by AccuCline Mechanical Services.